statistics are really alarming about uh, food waste and um, at the same time there is um, so much need for um, healthier food, especially here in Cleveland. Um, so when you look at a statistic like 40% of food is wasted in our country, yet one in five people in, in Cuyahoga County are food insecure, um, I wanted to find a way to solve one problem with another problem. So Perfectly Imperfect Produce is a fruit and vegetable subscription service. Uh, we package up imperfect or blemished fruits and vegetables that have something a little funny about them on the outside maybe, but on the inside they're totally fresh and um, taste really good. Here, since I'm able to buy some things that um, the facility that I work out of produce packaging, um, is, since I'm located here, I'm able to buy things from them. Sometimes it's a really big sweet potato that maybe a grocer isn't sure how to price or doesn't fit with the other sweet potatoes that are already on their shelf. Sometimes it's a pepper that um, instead of being red or green, it's both. Each week I go out looking for anything that meets the imperfect standards that I have. It varies depending on the season. Obviously now we're getting into fall, so I'm finding apples that are maybe smaller than some of the markets might want. So I take those small apples and I give people a lot of little apples, which are perfect for kids. It's a variety of fruits and vegetables each week, usually about half fruits, half vegetables, and we typically try to include something in there um, that maybe is a little unfamiliar to people. Um, so pretty soon we're gonna be finding like lots of uh, winter squash, like acorn and butternut. We like to put those in there and give people a chance to try something maybe they've never had before. And then that's why we give them um, a recipe also each week. I try to keep the recipes really simple because the idea is to help people eat healthier um, but not make it too complicated for them. It's always going to be something healthy. It's always going to be something that doesn't require a ton of ingredients. People can sign up on our website, perfectlyimperfectproduce.com, and you pick what size box you want. Um, we have a small size and a large size. Um, and then you can pick how often you'd like to get it. What gives me the most pleasure is um, when I hear from other people that say, you know, gosh, I never would have walked in the store and bought an eggplant because I didn't really know what to do with it. But now that I have this eggplant right in front of me and I made it and I loved it, um, now I'm going to try eggplant more often and I'm eating healthier. The main goal is, is health. It's time for another mini road trip, and the folks here at Mini of Cleveland on Brook Park Road have given us a countryman, and this time it's an all four, which means four wheel drive. We can go anywhere, and we are. And we're staying in Cleveland for this road trip. For the best part, they deliver to you. It's perfectly imperfect produce. <music> The statistics are really alarming about uh, food waste and um, at the same time there is um, so much need for um, healthier food, especially here in Cleveland. Um, so when you look at a statistic like 40% of food is wasted in our country, yet one in five people in, in Cuyahoga County are food insecure. Um, I wanted to find a way to solve one problem with another problem. So Perfectly Imperfect Produce is a fruit and vegetable subscription service. Uh, we package up imperfect or blemished fruits and vegetables that have something a little funny about them on the outside maybe, but on the inside they're totally fresh and um, taste really good. Here, since I'm able to buy some things that um, the facility that I work out of produce packaging, um, is, since I'm located here, I'm able to buy things from them. Sometimes it's a really big sweet potato that maybe a grocer isn't sure how to price or doesn't fit with the other sweet potatoes that are already on their shelf. Sometimes it's a pepper that um, instead of being red or green, it's both. Each week I go out looking for 
anything that meets the imperfect standards that I have. It varies depending on the season. Obviously now we're getting into fall, so I'm finding apples that are maybe smaller than some of the markets might want. So I take those small apples and I give people a lot of little apples, which are perfect for kids. It's a variety of fruits and vegetables each week usually about half fruits, half vegetables, and we typically try to include something in there um, that maybe is a little unfamiliar to people. Um, so pretty soon we're gonna be finding like lots of uh, winter squash, like acorn and butternut. We like to put those in there and give people a chance to try something maybe they've never had before. And then that's why we give them um, a recipe also each week. I try to keep the recipes really simple because the idea is to help people eat healthier, um, but not make it too complicated for them. It's always going to be something healthy. It's always going to be something that doesn't require a ton of ingredients. People can sign up on our website, perfectlyimperfectproduce.com, and you pick what size box you want. Um, we have a small size and a large size. Um, and then you can pick how often you'd like to get it. What gives me the most pleasure is um, when I hear from other people that say, you know, gosh, I never would have walked in the store and bought an eggplant because I didn't really know what to do with it. But now that I have this eggplant right in front of me and I made it and I loved it, um, now I'm gonna try eggplant more often and I'm eating healthier. The main goal is, is health. Guess what, she's here. Welcome Ashley Weingar from Perfectly Imperfect Produce. I love the name of the place. Thank you very much. Perfectly I Imperfect. It myself. You created it like yourself. Me. Yeah. So, so these are, are these perfectly imperfect vegetables here? All of these are, except for the beans, I suppose. Um, yeah, so I already chopped them up to make things a little bit quicker, but yeah. these sweet potatoes started out just really tiny, so maybe those aren't ideal for some supermarkets. They look perfectly imperfect. They are. Yeah. That's exactly what they are. Okay, so what do you got going on in the pots over here? So you saw how we uh, ship our boxes to your house every day, mm -hmm. or every Friday, rather. Um, but we also include a recipe with that so that you know how to utilize imperfect fruits and vegetables. One um, of the ways. And turn it into a beautiful meal. Mm -hmm. So it's fall. Look at and this. I got so it right here. Check that out. This is, my, this is the my recipe. Notes. Yeah. So it comes in the box, so you can figure out what's, so, yeah, what's going on. So yeah, we email on. it to you every Friday. We utilize one or more of the items that come in that box. Mm -hmm. And today we're making soup because it's finally officially soup season. It's I think. soup season. Yeah. And okay. So I've added some uh, onions and uh, green peppers in there already with a tablespoon of olive oil to mm -hmm. get that started. And now we're going to add in uh, one sliced zucchini, uh, either quartered or just sliced in half. And last week our boxes included. There's one included, in the box right there. Yeah, actually last week we had the yellow zucchini in there. This Today I'm putting in uh, the green zucchini. So um, would the yellow ones have like funny colors on it and stuff to make it perfectly imperfect? Um, every item that we put in there sort of has its own story, mm -hmm. right? So um, with the zucchini, sometimes it just has to do with um, the fact that it needs to be utilized quickly. So mm -hmm. sometimes that's why something ends up in there because of just the point at which it is and its um, journey from the mm -hmm. farm to the table. What's this green peppers story? So, you know, sometimes we get peppers that are not green or yellow. Mm -hmm. They're sort of in between. And but so this that's, feels great. Yeah, there's nothing wrong with it. It's just a little bit unique in color. Mm -hmm. um, so, so yeah. when, when the grocery stores and some of these people buy some of the, these goods, they want it to be a specific size, a specific shape, a specific color. Right. And sometimes Mother Nature doesn't cooperate. That's exactly right. People um, who grow their own fruits and vegetables in their backyard are very familiar with that. I know. But we've come I've got a to... bunch of weirdo tomatoes right now. <laughs> we've come to expect sort of perfection when we go to the grocery store because we want to get our money's worth, right? Yeah. Um, but as a result, there's you know, 40% of food is wasted in our country and we're trying to do something about that. So now I've just added in um, our garlic and our zucchini. We're gonna let that cook a little bit longer. And then we'll be ready to add in our stock if you wanna pass that over to me. You got it. And one of the things I love about um, soup in general, but particularly vegetable soup, um, since you called me the vegetable lady when we met. We are, um, you are the vegetable lady. Is that you can really substitute any vegetable that you have a lot of sitting around in your fridge or that needs to be used up quickly. Um, I'm using the zucchini and the peppers and onions because I had that mm -hmm. um, and needed to Are you going to put this up. other one in? I'm going to use about half of it. Okay, then we'll you put a hole in it. Are you a trick? Um, 
So yeah, I know a lot of folks have zucchini and tomatoes from their garden right now that they're trying to figure out what they're going to do with all of it. I got to tell you, you could be spring. overrun by zucchinis and tomatoes. Absolutely. So now we've got our um, stock in there and we're going to add in a little bit of um, tomato paste. We've got three tablespoons here of tomato paste. If we can get that to go in there. The tomato paste adds a good depth, doesn't it? Yeah, and then we're going to add some nice uh, white beans. I used uh, Great Northern Bean, but you could really use anything you have around in your pantry. Uh, maybe a chickpea would be good, or even a kidney bean would be mm -hmm. nice. Add a little protein in there. Are you a vegetarian? I am, actually. I do eat fish, but... Um, since our family's in the produce business, we mm -hmm. eat a lot of vegetables. We love yeah. them. I, could, I thought so when I heard how excited you, when you said chickpeas, there was an excitement in your <laughs> voice that I don't hear all the time. Yeah, I do. I, I get excited about vegetables. So now we've got um, <laughs> one tomato chopped up, um, or you could use a can of uh, diced tomatoes if you've got that. We're going to bring all this to a if boil. If you use fresh tomatoes, would you squeeze the uh, seeds and the goop out of the middle of it first? I wouldn't, but you could if you Some wanted to. Some people do. To. Yeah, I like it all My in partner there. in crime over there, she doesn't like the goopy part of no? a tomato. Okay, and then we're going to add in our herbs. We've got one teaspoon of dried thyme, or you could use fresh thyme from your garden. And then I've got a half a teaspoon of kosher salt. And then we're going to add in our sweet potatoes that we cut up that were these tiny little sweet potatoes. Mm -hmm. Didn't matter how small they were there. We just cut up more of them. We've got one sweet potato here or two cups of diced So how long do you potatoes. cook this once, it, once it's, uh, so you get gonna, that in there? You're going to simmer this, uh, bring it to a boil, and then bring it down to a simmer and cook it for about 15 minutes. And then once all those sweet potatoes soften up, you're going to add in your kale. So it's only going to take 15 minutes to soften those sweet potatoes? Yeah, so that's how easy it is to cook a healthy meal for your family. That's wild. So this, could, this goes in like right toward, at the very end, and then this is a garnish then, right? It is, yep. Okay. And whenever we're ready to serve some up, we've got a pot that's already finished here. You know, I'm going to put this right front and center here so you guys can see the box. So that box shows up in my house. How much is it going to cost me for this box? That is our small box. It costs $15. Um, oh, wow. And you get about 15 pounds of produce in there. So what do you think it would cost me at the grocery store to buy this many vegetables, these kind? That's a great question. We estimate from our comparison shopping that you save about 30 to 40 percent on your produce um, compared to shopping at that the grocery really store. That is really good. Um, and I like you have the eggplant in here, you got apples. And so you don't know what's coming in the box or you have an idea what's coming in the Each box? Each week it's sort of a surprise. On Wednesday I spend time going out searching for imperfect food and it is varies mm -hmm. depending on the season. Are these giant plums? Those are huge plums, aren't they? They're giant. Yeah. yeah. So, th so they're, they're too weird to be in the grocery store so we get them. Right. Or Those imperfect. Are, right. You got weird plums, lady. <laughs> you can call lady. them weird. Some people call them ugly. That's why we call this the ugly food makeover because we talk about turning ugly food or weird uh, food into yeah. beautiful meals. And what do we say this box was? Fifteen dollars. And how do we how do we get a hold of you and get involved again? So you sign up online, perfectlyimperfectproduce.com. Perfectlyimperfectproduce.com. Mm -hmm. That's great. And how long? Is, when is that going to be done? This will take about 15 more, uh, 10 more minutes maybe, and then those will be softened. We'll add our kale in. Perfect. But I've got a nice bowl for okay. that's all finished. Our crew and, and, and Natalie will certainly enjoy us. I'm going to give this a little taste. I hope it's not too hot. It's not too hot. Yeah. And it's you already delicious. had your dessert earlier. It, it's, no, this is, this is sweeter than a dessert, I think. <laughs> Vegetables have a great sweetness to them, don't they? I think so. Especially it's terrific. In okay, guess what? When we return, we're going to talk more about money. You like money? I do. We're going to show you how to save money, how to make money, and how to keep your money with a fiduciary when we come back.